love Canada. The border crossing was nice, and the border patrol agents were really nice. And you know, so far so good. Except I, I think that that guy called me asshole for parking. <laughs> and a potato a potato, <laughs> a potato. Our, uh, our our bananas were okay so that was good we got yeah. to keep our bananas sure. but we're in Canada we're excited that was pretty easy it took us about 20 25 minutes to get through so we're going to just make our way through and uh, hopefully end up Oh, and Revelstoke right. in a couple hours and meet up with some friends of friends and have a little adventure. So we're in a little bit of a pickle because I called AT&T our phone provider and I called him twice over the last two months just to confirm when we go to Canada our plan would cover it no problem. And of course they said, oh yeah, no problem, no problem. And I added the A part. I said, no problem, eh? And they said, yeah, no problem. So we get to Canada and we get a little text message saying, are you ready to spend $10 a day for each of your phones to be in Canada? And I said, nope. So we just got off the phone with the guy who told us basically it was gonna cost us $10 a day to use our phone in Canada, even though the last two people I called on two separate occasions in two separate months said, no, your plan is free, Canada's great, Canada and Mexico are included. So this guy told us, when you're in Mexico, if you're in Mexico, you can make a phone call just like you're anywhere in the United States. And I said, that's great. I'm in Canada, not in Mexico. They're about 2,000 miles apart. So we are um, we're going old school now. We got a road atlas. Uh, we kind of know the general direction. We're just gonna drive old school and try to get to Revelstoke and pull into a coffee shop maybe, load up on free Wi-Fi and figure out what the heck to do next. Because we also have Verizon for our jetpack. And I'm sure that Verizon, which I also call it twice because I'm very thorough, Verizon said, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll give you 4G at one half a gig a day, and then it drops to 2G. But you should be able to use it in Canada, no problem. And yet, when we came into Canada, I got the same message on my jetpack that said, you are now roaming. Roaming charges apply. So, um, we love Canada. The border crossing was nice, and the border patrol agents were really nice. And you know, so far so good.
about 60 miles an hour. Colin Bud! No. No, stamp! We gotta get used to things in Canada. So the gas prices back there was uh, 144 per liter, which is expensive as all get up. We're looking at take that number, multiply it by 3.8, round it to four, so it's over five dollars and twenty cents per gallon. And I don't know if that was diesel or regular. So we're um, we got 250 miles before we need gas, which should get us into Revelstoke. And we'll just, uh, maybe we'll have a beer first and then go get gas so we don't Pizza? mind we don't mind the expense so much after we take the edge off a little bit. So, we're in Canada. It, is, uh, it has been gorgeous so far. What do they eat in Canada? Moose. Moose? Guess I'll have to try moose then. It's been an awesome day. We're in Canada, we're in British Columbia. It is a really cool part of the world. We are stoked to be in Revelstoke. Bedtime, day one in Canada on our way to Alaska. <laughs>